week of October 9th is observed internationally as Fire Prevention Week. The theme for this year's observance is Working Smoke Detectors Save Lives, Test Yours Every Month. Fire Prevention Week is the longest running public health and safety observance on record, having been started since 1911. Fire Prevention Week was established to commemorate the Great Chicago Fire of 1871. That inferno killed more than 250 people and left over 100,000 homeless. The lessons of the Great Chicago Fire changed the way firefighters and public officials thought about fire safety. Hence, on the 40th anniversary of the Great Chicago Fire, fire officials of North America decided that the anniversary of the fire should henceforth be observed, with with, not with festivities, but in a way that would keep the public informed about the importance of fire prevention. In our own situation, let us not forget the major fires of June 19th and 20th, 1948 in Castries. Souffre, June 9th, 1955. Victoria Hospital, February 1st, 1996. And St. Jude's on September 9th, 2009. I remind you of the words uttered by the Spanish-American philosopher, essayist, poet, and novelist, George Santayana. And I quote, those who forget history are doomed to repeat it. The acronym NFPA stands for the National Fire Protection Association and is an international nonprofit organization established in 1896. Its mission is to reduce the worldwide burden of fire and other hazards on the quality of life by providing and advocating consensus codes and standards, research, training, and education. It has a membership that includes more than 70,000 individuals from nearly 100 nations. NFPA is the world's leading advocate of fire prevention and an authoritative source on public safety. St. Lucia refers extensively to the codes and standards developed by the NFPA. This year's theme for Fire Prevention Week, Working Smoke Detectors Save Lives, Test Yours Each Month, is aimed at focusing public attention towards the importance of early warning systems in homes. Statistics have shown that most residential structure, structure fires occur at night when the occupants are asleep. Therefore, the ability to detect these fires early is critical in minimizing the loss of life and damage to property. The National Fire Protection Association has determined that the chances of occupants surviving a residential structure fire increases by 50% when smoke detectors are present. This year's theme builds on the themes of previous years. Last year's theme was prevent kitchen fires, place emphasis on the kitchen as one of the high risk areas in the home where fires are likely to start. A large percentage of the dwelling house fires that St. Lucia Fire Service has responded to over the last few years have been as a result of kitchen fires. In 2012, the theme was two ways out of your home. This theme encouraged persons to be mindful of their escape routes out of the home and advised them to have two ways out of every room and living space. Therefore, combining the themes over the last three years provides a complete fire safety plan for your home that includes maintaining fire exit routes in the case of emergency adopting safety practices, especially in the kitchen, and having adequate and functioning early warning devices that will give you and your family ample time to act decisively in the case of an accidental fire outbreak. The fire service therefore urges all St. Lucians to take these measures seriously and put measures in place to safeguard their homes and their families. Let me conclude by leaving you some facts on the importance of smoke detectors 
and how they should be installed in your homes. Working smoke detectors save lives, thereby cutting the risk of dying in the house fire in half. Smoke detectors should be installed and maintained in every home. Smoke alarms should be installed in every sleeping room, outside each separate sleeping area, and on every level of the home, including the basement. Larger homes may require several smoke detectors to provide a minimum level of protection. Interconnect all smoke detectors throughout the home for the best protection. When one sounds, they all sound. Make sure you can hear the sound of the smoke detector. It is especially important to have interconnected smoke alarms if you sleep with doors closed. Smoke detectors should be interconnected electrically by a qualified electrician and by installing battery-operated wireless interconnected smoke alarms. Choose a smoke detector that has a label of a recognized testing laboratory. Install smoke detectors away from the kitchen to prevent false alarms. They can be triggered by steam from the stove. Test smoke detectors at least once a month using the test button. Make sure everyone in the home understands the sound of the smoke detector and knows how to respond. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for cleaning in order to keep smoke detectors working well. These instructions are included in the package or can be found on the internet. This observance is very timely as it comes on the heels of our own fire service 40th anniversary which was celebrated on September 14th this year. The fire service will be putting on a number of activities throughout the month of October to commemorate the occasion. Further announcement on that, in that regard will be made during the coming week. I urge you to follow and or participate in whatever way you can. In closing, let me wish all St. Lucians a safe and free year, and I urge you to remember that the firefighters in your, remember the firefighters in your prayers as they go about the business of protecting lives and property. I also urge all firefighters to rededicate themselves to the people of this country and to continue in the great traditions of those who have gone before us. In the words of the 35th President of the United States, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. I thank you and God bless you.